this local sports report is brought to you by Peter Izio from Izio Financial Solutions, helping you ensure financial stability for your family or business. Call Peter today for expert advice from an experienced advisor. Call now to book an appointment at 519-576-5410. Four and four record. Uh, super disappointed about that, but it isn't as bad as it seems on the exterior. And let me dive into that a little bit more. So we start off two and zero, oh, and we're all the boys here on a bus ride home back from Kingston, feeling amazing. Yes. Right. We're, we're two and zero oh against two quality football teams, and we hit a rut. Three straight games, and I hope you talked about the uh, the teams in this league and how strong this league is now. But Waterloo, then McMaster, then Guelph, all by a total of six points, right? So we found different ways to lose. I think it's one of those situations where if we had three straight losses and they were by 10 to 20 points, it would be like, what's happening at Laurier? Okay, to dive a little bit deeper into those games against Waterloo, we had a 13-point lead at one point. The next week at McMaster, we had a nine-point lead at one point. And to top it all off, and I'm sure many of you were there at homecoming, we had a 17-point lead against Guelph. Okay, I definitely take a ton of blame for that, so will all the coaches and all the players in here. We all share that together. Um, and as tough as that was, I think you can realize the leads we had in those games shows the quality of football team. We had a lot of stuff not go our way and a lot of things we can correct. You've probably all heard the adage, you either win or you learn. We did a lot of learning. And I just finished having the exit meetings with our players two weeks ago. And they were all in agreement. The heavy, big slice of humble pie we got last year was a huge motivating factor for this offseason. And our players, I'm so proud of them, 38 times their alarms went off at 5.30 because they had a 6 a.m. workout. That's what we did all offseason. We had 20 practices. We used all 20, three of them against quality teams in Waterloo, McMaster, and Western. So the body of work is there. I'm excited to say that the returning group of players has that sour taste and that motivation to want to get after it. I challenge you or ask you to look at your programs and take a look at the recruiting class we brought in. It is a recruiting class. And I ask you at some point, go on LaurieFootball.com and take a look at our Take Flight 2019 recruiting show. It'll unveil the whole class. And what I basically say at the start of that class, of that video, is this is a recruiting class with a lot of size. And it's not the size of the class, but those 24 individuals, if you look at the height and weights, uh, they're going to make us a better football team. So with that returning group, with the recruits we've added, we're super excited for this season. Um, the schedule, it's also in your pamphlet there. You'll notice every single year in the OUA, we have two non-combatants. Last year, we had to kind of bite our tongues when we saw that our two non-combatants were York and, and U of T. This year, a much better schedule with York and U of T back in there, and Guelph and McMaster are non-combatants. Um, Big Bad Western comes to town week one, and I, I know Mr. Baxter has already highlighted, we have Queens at home cut. Okay, so I challenge you to get out to games. Season tickets for adults. Right, how much are the Raptors tickets right now, or Leafs tickets? Season tickets to four home Golden Hawk games is $50. $50. Okay, we need to see you at the games. We would love to see you at the games. We have a road game at Waterloo. I want to have more purple in that stadium than black and gold. It's the Thursday night before Thanksgiving. So um, thank you for your support. Um, so great to see so many of you, and we want to see you at the games. Go Hawks. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.